How's it going? How's it going? There's some thistle and that makes a good fire starter for a rod. You have to dry it out though. This one frond, relief, is swinging back and forth and nothing else in the area is blowing. There's no big breeze or anything. It's weird. It's like it's dancing. A little trick to keep the backpack off the ground. Just throw a little piece of cord, a couple carabiners right over the straps and it makes it at a height that you can work on it without having to bend over or having it near the ground hey hey cow moo moo mm. Kind of shy, huh? Well, 6 a.m. Sun's starting to come up. It'll be daylight. Looking a little medieval this morning with the whole uh, blanket cape thing going on. It hit 42 last night. So, almost a 30 degree weather change from daytime. Well, camp is broken, fire's out, left a little wood for the next guy in case they come in late, time to go. Well, that's it, back to the beginning, and that was crew. Let's see if we can find the map, I'll we'll show you what we did. Okay, we came from over here, down along the hammock trail, down to where the primitive campsite is. It's off the map for some reason they saw fit not to put their own campsite on their map. And then we came back the next day, up this way, to here, to there, then back to the observation deck and then to the trailhead. Okay, that's my hike at Crew. It's a nice place. Um, a lot of different short trails. Good practice area. Um, lots of nature, especially if you're solo hiking. Also gives you the opportunity to stay overnight at one of the primitive campsites. 
there's no amenities and uh, no water but uh, one thing that you did get that you usually don't get in a primitive campsite is a picnic table which is really great to fold stuff up on and keep it clean so anyway we'll be seeing you on our next hike please subscribe and like